how to remove add to card button in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can remove the add to card button in your Shopify store. Now, there are many reasons why you might want to do this, especially if you're trying to get more conversion in your Shopify store. The ability for customers to add items to their cart and then, you know, they leave it in their cart and then you have a lot of abandoned carts can be pretty annoying and if you don't have the option to add items to cart and people only have the option to directly check out and buy the item right now this can help in making your potential customers into actual converting customers and i'm going to show you both things so if you're someone that wants people to browse around on your website and you want the buy it now button removed that's a lot simpler but the add to cart is a little bit complicated and I'm going to break it down step by step so you guys can follow along. Now to remove our add to cart button, we're going to head on over into our Shopify dashboard. And once you have gone into your Shopify dashboard, you're going to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you're going to go into your current theme and you're going to click on these three dots and then click on edit code. Now, before you do that, you can always duplicate your store to be safe rather than sorry and make sure that you have the original version of your Shopify store as a copy in case you want to revert back to their original. Now, once you've done that, click on edit code. And once you've clicked on edit code, you're going to click on the left and just close these folders. Once you close these folders, you can click on assets on the left. And then once you open up assets right in the third line over here, you will find base.css. Now, this is going to be the same across all themes. So if you're using the sense theme, if you're using any other Shopify theme, you're going to go into base.css. If you can't find base.css, you can just go into the top left search bar and then the search for base.css and then click on it and it will open up. Now, once you've opened up the base.css code, you're going to scroll to the bottom. And once you scroll to the bottom, you can just click on return a couple of times to add a few empty lines. Now, once you have done that, you're going to go into this code and I will leave a link to this code and you're going to copy it. Now, make sure to copy it as it is. Make sure to include the final bracket because a lot of people miss that out and then their code doesn't work. So make sure to just copy that and then go back into the code editor and click on paste. Now, once you've clicked on paste, you can click on save over here. And now if I go into my Shopify store and refresh my store, you guys can see my add to cart button has now been removed and it's directly a buy it now button. So if I go into my Shopify you know, store over here, whatever products that I am displaying, I can click on my product over here and it only has a buy it now button. Now this will be applied across all of your store items. So none of your items will have a add to cart button. However, what happens if you want to remove the buy it now button and keep the add to cart button? Well, in that situation, you can go back and remove this code that you just inserted and click on save. And once you do that, you will see that the add to cart button will be live again. So I'm just going to wait for this to be synced up. So this will be live again. Now to remove the buy it now button, you're going to go into your Shopify dashboard. And in your Shopify dashboard, click on themes in your online store, and then just click on customize. Once you click on customize, what you're going to do is on the top, you're going to click on products after the home page, and this will lead you to any product page. Now in your product page, what you're going to do is on the left, you have the option of buy buttons. Click on buy buttons on the left, and then uncheck the option to show dynamic checkout buttons. This will remove your direct payment options or the buy it now button and then just click on save. And once you do it, your buy it now button will be removed. So if I view my store now, I only have a add to cart button without a buy it now button. Now, other than that, there is a lot more customization that you can do. So let's go on ahead and do some more customizations to elevate our store. Now, if you want to improve the appearance of your sale products, you can always alter the color of sale badges. So if you guys can see over here, I have this sale badge inserted over here. So to insert a gorgeous looking sale badge color, you're going to go into your Shopify dashboard 
and go back into edit code. And once you go into edit code, you're going to go back into the base CSS and scroll to the bottom of base CSS. Now, once you do that, you're going to copy this code over here, which is the sale badge color code. And I will leave a link to this in the description as well. Keep in mind, you need to make sure you're copying the first dot and the last bracket. If you don't, that is not going to make your code work. So make sure to copy that. And once you've copied that, you are going to paste it under base.css. Now, once you've done that, you will see a hashtag with a hex code. So now you can open up the Google color picker. And let's say I want to convert my button color to a lavender color. So open up the Google color picker and select the color that you want. And once you have selected the color that you want, you're going to copy the hex code. Now you will see the hex code over here. And once you've copied it, you're going to go back into your Shopify code editor and then just replace the hex code from the original code. We're going to paste it like this and then like this. Once you've done that, you can click on save on the top right. And once you have saved this, your sale banner color will also be changed. So you guys can see now it's a lavender color. Now, if you want to further elevate your store and you want to maybe make it transparent like I have in this particular theme or this particular store, uh, then you can go back into your code and then just go into layout and under layout, you have the option of theme.liquid. So open up theme.liquid and scroll to the bottom. Now in the bottom of theme.liquid, you will find this little section, which will be called slash body. So in slash body, you're going to create a few spaces above it, and then you're going to copy this header code. I will leave a link to this in the description box as well. And then I'll show you guys the non-transparent version of my store first. So you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the store header. I have removed the code. And now if I go into theme.liquid and I'll paste in this code right above the slash body section, and now my header will go back to a transparent header. So now if I refresh this, it has been converted into a transparent header. And if you want to play a looping video, you have a really short way to do that. For that, you don't have to edit the original code. You can do it in the form of a custom liquid, but you can also do it in the form of a code edit. It's really up to your personal preference. If I want a looping video that I'm going to keep on my website for a really long time, I like to edit the code. But if it's something that I want to temporarily display, then I like to do with the direct custom liquid method. So to do that, just go into your Shopify store and click on customize. Once you click on customize, you can go into any page. So it doesn't have to be your homepage. Let's say this is my collections list. And then I can click on add section on the left and then click on custom liquid. Now, once I click on custom liquid, I can click on the custom liquid section on the left. And then I have to enter my liquid code here. So instead of your liquid code, what you're going to do is you are going to take this code over here, which will also be linked in the description box down below, and you're going to insert that into here. Now, once you have inserted that into here, you have to copy the video you want to insert. So to actually have a place for your video to be inserted into, you can go into your Shopify dashboard, click on content on the left, and then files. And I have already uploaded this pizza file so i'm going to use the same file but you can upload any mp4 video here and then copy it so copy the mp4 video link and then in your custom liquid on the left you have the src is equal to apostrophe so after the apostrophe you're going to replace the link with your own link so i'm going to copy this link and then you guys will see this highlighted section this highlighted section needs to be replaced with your own link and once you have replaced it with your own link, your custom looping video will now be inserted. So in this way, you can make some really amazing upgrades to your Shopify store. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.